Thank you for having me, Ceylon Exchange Mentoring. Putting in simple terms, DVP, also known as Delivery Versus Payment, is basically a back-end operation that mitigates the default risks of payment by the buyer after transferring the securities. It is not something new introduced solely by the CSC. It was introduced after the 1987 Wall Street crash, which resulted in the recommendation of DVP. So if I have to take a consumeristic analogy to explain this, um, it's like you are selling a product online to a client. You would deliver the goods in the hope of receiving the cash on delivery before the doorstep delivery. Sometimes the client might refuse to buy the goods since he or she has no cash. Therefore, you eliminated the risk of being defaulted on your payments for the products you were trying to sell. Therefore, the cash on delivery handler will only take the delivery costs from the client and bring back the product to you. What we are currently having right now, if I have to explain in a business analogy, it is similar to selling your goods to a client on credit. But you are not sure whether the check which you receive from the client will bounce or not and you will end up without any payment. This is what DVP does. It eliminates the insecurities of a payment defaulting. It secures the transaction between two parties and can reverse smoothly if there's any default. This is the safest payment term in terms of an exchange that could implement to safeguard investors. Does it impact retail investors and traders? Absolutely not, because after all, it is a back-end operation done by the exchange to enhance the credibility of the exchange and also protect the investors and traders in the event of default. The officials at SEC and CSE also emphasize that this has zero impact on how things are presently, so I believe no one has to worry about it. Just a plus point to emphasize on that with this upgrade, we are moving towards one step closer to be eligible to move up as an emerging market exchange, which we can attract more foreign institutional money in return based on the payment security guarantee criteria. If you look back at CSC, there has not been a single case of default for the last 35 years, fortunately. But why risk it to a black swan event where anything could happen if neglected? So if you don't do this now, we might end up somewhere in a very serious, yet worse, a disastrous situation. So I believe DVP is going to you know, protect us all. The SEC and CSC are obliged to do it and, and they will do it on the best interests of everyone, especially the local retailers. Um, the impact to CSC with this implementation of this international practice should be somewhat minimal, although there will be a massive change in the infrastructure. What we need to assess is how our investment community welcomes it. Our community might take the stance to be on the sidelines since we are entering a new era and territory, so therefore we could see a slowdown of volume and turnover in the market since everyone is trying to take a vigilant stance on it until everyone gets comfortable with it. Mm, but we could also see an uh, allocation of brokerage credits could to a more towards the high net worth investors while retailers could get squeezed by the broker firms to settle the deals within a strict timeline. So the leniency period would you know, reduce and there would be more pressure for retailers to you know, settle the dues. I would say that therefore I would say volumes drying up in the short term but picking up in the medium to long term which is obviously sustainable. Most of the concerns in the letter were addressed in the Q&A sessions conducted jointly by the SEC and CSA. However, the major concern would be regarding how short selling and other instruments will be implemented over time. I strongly advocate for new instruments into this market, especially short selling, but my concerns would be who is going to be eligible to use such instruments and to who are they going to give complete powers and authority to execute it. We could experience extreme market manipulations such as order book spoofings and other sorts of manipulations as well, but time will answer. It's too soon to comment on that.